Okay, Tony, you want to make some plyometric boxes. Here you go. Um, I put this together for you to make it a lot easier. And uh, I might as well keep it for a reference for myself, too. So, um, anyway, the plyometric boxes, we already talked about uh, what they're good for and uh, basically what I'll use it for. So, uh, I'm just going to start. Um, basically, some materials you need is a 5 8, five eight inch by 3 quarter inch uh, the 4 by 8 ply board, um, the cabinet style, the ones you use to make these cabinets. Um, it runs about $25, $35 a sheet. Um, you can get it at like Ace Hardware, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Um, you know, Home Depot will rip it for you down the middle for free, so uh, definitely uh, that's a plus. Um, if you want three 2x4s, or um, you know, you can get six to make two boxes if you want, because you're going to have all this extra left over here on the, uh, the ply, ply board sheet. Um, you can have the sheet rip down the middle, um, get some wood glue and tape measure, get about 2.5 inch to 3 inch wood screws. And about two inch drywall screws. I'll explain why later. Drywall screws are put the ply board to the two by fours. Uh, they go in a lot easier. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's easy for me anyway. I like those. Um, the tools you're gonna need is like a drill gun, a chop saw, you know, for the two by fours, um, jigsaw for the hand holds on the sides, um, and skill saw so you can uh, cross cut the uh, ply board and your strips that you'll need. Um, pretty much, if you want to get a screenshot of this. Uh, I know the screen cast actually cuts off the bottom, um, but this one here is 22 and a half, 22 and a half, 22 and a half, 22 and a half, and a six inch on there. So, so anyway, um, here's an exploded view. Um, again, it's cutting off the bottom. You need three um, eight foot long two by fours, um, nine six inches, and one uh, you know uh, four by eight ply board. Um, just a quick look. You want this is an 18 inch high box. Um, actually, it's 18 and three quarters, almost 19 inch box. Because um, uh, I just measured these 18. You're going to count the top thickness of the board to go above 18. Um, so anyway, whatever you want to make your board, um, I make the surface to jump on 24 by 24. That's a pretty good recommendation, uh, especially for a square box. Um, you have the little pyramid or slanted sides. Um, they're designed to have a smaller top. Um, the way the design is, is, is for a stronger base um, and, and to hold the weight jumping on it. Um, we're going to do a square box, um, so we're going to need some more materials to make it stronger. Um, the, the ones with the slanted sides really um, not need as much material um, because of the design, like I said. But anyway, the square box is good. I like the square box anyway. They look cool next to each other side by side. Um, so anyway, and let's see, there's your explode view. There we go. What you want to do is you start, you cut your 2x4s and your links first, all the 2x4s. Um, 18, 18, 18, 18, 19.5, 4. Um, you actually have one left over. You have a 22.5 up here already, so really you don't need to cut off. You'll have all this extra. It's like 28.5 extra. And you just have the 22.5, um, three of those. So once you cut all your strips, all the ones you need, um, and then you cut your 18 inch. And, you know, cross cut the ply board. You already have this. this is going to be 24 by 896. Cut out the 18, and the last one you're going to have is 24 by 24. Um, so it works out perfect. You have your sides and you have your top. Um, see, so then you drill your countersink holes. You get like a little drill bit that has a little countersink for your screws. Um, that's always really good. I like doing that first. Um, it makes it look clean. It's countersunk, so whenever you put on your boards on top of it, you don't have any screws sticking out. Um, and when you glue it all together, it looks nicer too. So, um, and then next thing you're going to do is assemble the 19 and a half by 22 and a half sides. Um, again, you can go back to that exploded view. I'm going to show the exploded view again um, so you can see it. Um, go to the next one. All right, then you assemble the heights. Um, you definitely want to uh, make these perpendicular to each other. Um, you can see you have one running this way, you're going to have this one run this way, and then that's it. Look at the, you can see on the top view um, how they're all kind of perpendicular to the one next to it, uh, parallel to the one counter corner to them, uh, so on. So there's another small view of what it's going to look like when it's done. You have your 19 and a half by 22 and a half, 18 high. Um, another thing to consider, um, this almost cuts it off on the bottom here, but you see how I have the longer board on the outside here, longer boards on the outside on the bottom one. So actually on these, I uh, I swapped them. Oh, here you go, here's one. Longer board on the top, longer board on the side on this side. So it just gives it a little bit more reinforcement. Um, 
So again, you're going to assemble the high boards to the outer reinforcements and make sure each corner is perpendicular to the next. Uh, be sure to use wood glue each time. You want to definitely glue in every spot you put a, a screw. Um, make sure the screws are flush and do not line up top and bottom reinforcements. That's what I just explained where you line up top and bottom they're opposite of each other. Assemble the ply boards around the outside reinforcements. Make sure that you assemble 22 and a half, 22 and a half side first. As you can see, it's 22 and a half here, 22 and a half here. This other side, the 24 is going to cover all the way to the outside. So it um, makes it nice and clean. Um, and then you assemble the 24 by 18 uh, ply board side, 24 inch side, which you'll see if you take a look at the pictures. Kind of see how the corners they, they overlap. And again, here's the 22 and a half. Going across the top there, 22 and a half. Here's your exploded view again. Give you a quick look. Um, I don't want to make this too long, this presentation, because it, it uh, takes up a lot of space longer it is. So, okay, assemble the 24 by 24 inch top. Make uh, Mark uh, the, out the center lines for the uh, hand holds, which is right here. Um, Again, you know, you're going to use wood glue and screws, lots of screws on here. You can see I use one. One in the corner, across the sides, I have uh, there's four and three, four and three. Um, pretty strong. I mean, these are really strong. Like I said, they're the square boxes. They don't have, they're not the pyramid style, the slanted sides. So they're, you got to have a lot of reinforcement. Um, the design of the slanted sides is just making them stronger. Um, for your hand holds on the side, uh, I measured from actually the top of this board, not the very top, but the top of the side board is four and a half inches down, and you want nine and three quarter inches over on both sides. Um, you mark out your little spots here. Next thing you do is you just drill them out. Um, just pause this if you need to, if you want to take a, a minute to look it over and write it out or whatever. Um, drill out your holes. I put one and a half. I don't recall exactly what I used. It seems about right. It was one and a half diameter across. Um, so I think that's why I put the uh, four and a half down to cover for that, that little five eighths, whatever, right there, or three quarters. Um, anyway, so you draw your holes after you mark them out. And then uh, you go over here and then you just line up the tops, put your line across. So you're going to go ahead and use your jigsaw now. Cut out the holes with the jigsaw. Um, as you can see, there here it is, the finished, uh, what it looks like when it's done, the hand holds. Sand it down, get the, uh, the sander, because all these edges are pretty sharp, you know, it's really, you know, the wood. And you can see even the long edges here, it's uh, pretty tight, so. Sand them all down, make them nice and smooth. Um, if you were to walk by and hit it with your leg or your knee, you know, so it wouldn't hurt as bad. Um, once it's all nice and smooth, you sand it down with a hand sander. Um, by hand or with the vibrating sander, make it real smooth, sand out the hand holds too, and then uh, when you're done, just paint it, put your little logo, whatever, you know, this is for transitions, health and fitness, but uh, you, you get the idea. And then at the end, uh, the, the finish, what they look like, so when you get a bunch of them in here, side by side, looks pretty cool. Like I said, I like the square boxes, because it just looks kind of old school, um, the warehouse style, the old, uh, the old workouts, so. And there you go, and boxes too, because they have those steel reinforcement uh, trim and slant sides too, but I don't like the boxes. Alright, that's it.